Hey you, nice to see you again. Look, Samsung just released their One UI 4.0 beta version for the Galaxy S21 series via their Samsung members up in selected countries. However, a word of caution or should you want to download this version to your S21, be aware that Google Pay and Samsung Health will no longer work for now. And maybe other applications I haven't identified also won't work yet. As always, I appreciate you, your like and comment is always welcome. My top five changes you can look forward to. Number one is in settings. It has an additional feature which is called safety and emergency. And here you can basically enter your medical info, your emergency contacts, more importantly, enable ELS, which is emergency location services. And although that has been around for a while on Android, it makes it easier to navigate. Basically what it does, it sends your exact location to the emergency services should you call them and all of this is done automatically in the background. The next two options are SOS messages in emergency mode and yeah they were here before but you had different ways of getting there and some of them was really cumbersome so I really like this overall view now you have in one section in the settings. Let's stay in the settings menu and we go to battery and device care and nothing spectacular has been redesigned here obviously uh, it's a bit it looks fresher now it has an emoji if you like if you like that then you know it tells you it's good and there's a smiley emoji there but you will find when you scroll down you will find a tab that's called diagnostics which goes into the member diagnostics app and here you can actually do a complete checkup or select certain functions in order to see if there's something wrong and next time you try and pay with whatever payment method you want to have or you have on your phone and it's not working and allegedly your card has been declined well you can go back now into this feature and check if the nfc function is actually working correctly and to see if it really is your card i kind of like that number three is widgets and other redesigned features and it's no longer all over the place with the widgets look at this here now adding widgets has been simplified it's no longer kind of all over the place nicely presented now in the stack view and it does look much better to me it's way more functional than before and obviously you can still search for widgets as you normally do moving on to always on display it's an additional option available now for new notification to show up in this mode next one is a favorite redesign feature you go into your lock screen and you have something playing you listen to your music you can change the audio output now easily from your lock screen and i like that you can basically go back to your phone or switch to a different headset different speakers it's all available and depending on the app you are using you also have a bit of a customized control design or an additional customized control design available number four is sharing stuff and we all like to share our pictures we like to share our personal life our whatever where we are whether that be with our loved ones instagram well it has been simplified and redesigned now the sharing menu as such you no longer need to swipe up to find your corresponding application all you do now is swipe sideways but the best part really is that you can now customize your favorites meaning that you can um, customize your most used sharing routine so you basically can have your applications you share the most with um, up front and that's kind of decluttering the whole sharing menu if you like number five is privacy settings and privacy is something we shouldn't take for granted you go in now you get an instant overview of applications that have used either your microphone camera or your location service and you can choose between uh, the drop down menu between 24 hours usage or the seven day history which is pretty useful uh, I personally think it's a good feature which gives you an overview of your privacy when using your phone. Obviously you can change your permissions right here and there when you see one of the applications that you believe kind of not violated but you don't want to have this permission you can do this right away here. Which brings me to the next feature when any application you use is using your microphone or your camera you now have this green dot uh, available visible a visual representation of that this application is using your microphone and or camera and apple users you know this this is there as well but it's good to have and good to see because you can then if something is wrong and you feel like something is off here you can go into the quick menu you have now available microphone and camera you can basically just immediately block or turn it off and that's it 
one bonus feature I want to tell you about, and that is in the photo editing app itself. Uh, when you go into picture editing in the application, you now have the ability to erase an object or person or whatever it is you want to erase. In this instance, my cute little sunshine doggy, but only for the picture, of course. We go into labs, enable erase objects, and voila, you can now erase unwanted stuff, whatever it is, before uploading it or sharing it with your friends. As always, and in true fashion, I will leave every single change Samsung has made to the One UI 4.0 right here, right now, for you to look at. Peace. <laughs>